Hi, it's Shannon, and I'm back. So today's topics um, include pretty much um, lots of stuff about the Bible. And I've wanted to, in a way, um, move away from some of the facts of life because there are certainly lots of topics that that are um, happening today and things that are going to be affecting our future such as this new planet Nibiru along with the comet that's kind of attached along with it um, it's huge, it's bigger than Jupiter, I think twice the size of Jupiter, and Jupiter's our biggest planet in our solar system. Um, so that's kind of a big deal because when that's getting closer to Earth, it's affecting our magnetic fields and um, just, it's kind of, it's like a tug of war pretty much. And there's lots of information, you can look that up. Um, Something interesting I found out, look up the Denver airport, quite interesting. Um, you can look up the NWO, and I don't really want to talk about that stuff. Um, so you can feel free to go do research, but that's a huge part of, I feel like that's a big part of what our problem is going to be. So pretty much I feel like my presence here on YouTube is pretty much just to bring light to life and I know that things get kind of sad and depressing in our lives and you know I hate to be this person that is always saying this but things are going to get um, progressively worse and if you do some research on the topics I I've just talked about, um, you can get an idea maybe of where we're going. Um, and I'm over saying, oh, I'm, you know, I don't want to sound crazy. Because <laughs> I'm sure I probably do to some people. But, you know, I believe that we're going to have a war in America. I believe that America is going to be invaded at some point. I believe that this a comet is going to come hit our Earth. Um, I believe that this planet that's coming closer and closer to us and I actually have a picture of it I was at the beach one day and I took a picture of the beautiful scenery the sand and the ocean and the sky and I got home the next couple days and realized that I had this I didn't know what it was and I had found out that it's this planet that's coming closer to us it's actually um, another Sun that's kind of a, a companion star for our moon, or for our sun, um, and the moon is a whole different situation too. Uh, so much stuff. But pretty much, whatever happens, you guys, the point is, you know, if you have that comforter, if you believe in God, and if you feel like, I've completely handed my whole life over to him, you know, and it's it feels really, really good. And even the people that are close to me see a difference in me and who I am and how I carry myself and how I deal with situations. And it just feels really, really good, you know, not to feel like I have to control everything. So, um, you know, I'd like to get more into the Bible because <clears throat> I take really good notes, you know, when I'm reading the Bible and even with, in conversations with people from church and um, people that are like-minded and <clears throat> I don't I'm glad people give their feedback but I don't want you guys to think that just because I'm in church I'm adopting every doctrine that they that they believe and that their foundation is is based on I believe I go to a great church and it's a Bible church and it teaches us about the Bible there's no extra thoughts there's no extra motives or anything like that it's the basic Bible and the scriptures are discussed and they're related to our life 
nothing crazy, nothing creepy. So I love that people are looking out and they're saying, you know, be careful of religion. The point is, I love God. I love Jesus Christ. There's nothing else to be said about it. So, I mean, I welcome your comments and I welcome the conversation. But just know, you know, I'm not some naive little thing anymore. <laughs> I have a good head on my shoulders and I believe that I'm trying to sort out all the stuff in, in life, sort it out, pick up what I need, drop the rest behind and move and move on. You know, I got to keep it pushing and I want to be a better person for myself, for those around me and for the world. So trust and believe this little girl has grown up before your eyes. <laughs> Okay, um, so today I want to get into the scripture and things like that because I've made connections, these insane connections about, you know, the Bible is not some crazy book from another galaxy, you know, which I thought it was. I thought it was just so intimidating and, oh, it doesn't matter to me, but it does. And it's just kind of a manual on how to live your life. And it just tells stories about, from the beginning of time, it tells stories about people's life situations and how they dealt with it and what happened afterwards. You know? And that's pretty, mu that's pretty much all we need to know. We need to know what God wants us to do. And we need to see how that has affected other people when they believed and when they didn't believe. And it's much more dynamic than that, but that's really what I've been pulling from it lately. So, after all that's been said, um, getting just down to the Bible and what it is, I want to build a foundation of what the Bible even is, the different perspectives, um, you know, how it came about before we even get into it, because it's important to know what you're believing and what you're reading before we talk about the meat of it. So, pretty much, um, in my opinion, the Bible is, well, not really my opinion, I have adopted this opinion, um, but the Bible is pretty much God unveiling himself to us. Excuse me, just had popcorn <laughs> and soda. I look like a bad eater <laughs> on these, on these uh, videos just bad timing um, so there's three major ways that God has unveiled himself through the Bible one nature and the entire cosmos two throughout history and three the words of prophets nature and the entire cosmos um, God is the powerful designer he's the powerful designer of our lives he's the powerful designer of our whole natural world and everything in it from the tiny atom to the complex and dynamic DNA and RNA to the huge dynamic galaxies I'll speak the intelligence of this powerful designer God has these invisible qualities and <clears throat> for those that don't want to believe in God chalk it up or even those that do believe in God that sometimes have a hard time um, like grasping the concept God's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen via all things around us both things that are seen and things that are unseen and if you just pay attention and if you have the desire to want to know it's all around us Throughout history, um, in his dealings with Israel and the nation surrounding it, and through his activities in the affairs of individuals and nations, um, that's another way that he has unveiled himself to us in the, through the Bible. And the words of prophets, they are used, um, are their instruments of God's revelation as they interpreted their circumstance and sought God's will. The word of the Lord to me that's a phrase that's often used in the Bible um, or this is what the Lord says so it's not them speaking it's them speaking God's words 
Um, <clears throat> the importance of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was God's fullest and clearest revelation. He was God incarnate. He's the image of the invisible God. He is the word that became flesh. And that's a way, a few ways that Jesus Christ is described. And <clears throat> the Trinity, if you've ever heard of that, that is the three, the God in his three selves. One person, it's one, one self, but it had, but there's three different forms, I guess I could say. And when I thought about it like this, because it does seem quite complex, although it's very simple, um, I think about it like this. Just like water is still water when it's water liquid form, when it's ice, and when it's steam, God, God is God. The physical version of God is, was Jesus. And the spiritual, personal element of God is the Holy Spirit that's within all of us. Um, so that's my opinion on that. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I'm able to understand and describe what um, that Trinity is. God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Um, all prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. I can't believe it's been almost 12 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this because it may get cut off anyway and I'll pick up again. If you're still tuned in thank you so much I really appreciate it. And this is not just for me, it's for all of us. So stay tuned.